friend, John McLennan here, and in this video you're going to learn how to play Isn't She Lovely as recorded by Stevie Wonder on guitar. Now this song has two main sections that you need to know and then a little riff to wrap it up. I'm going to break it all down for you. Now keep in mind the chords used in this song are definitely more from jazz harmony. So they're chords like minor sevenths and dominant ninth chords and things like that. So a little bit more of an advanced lesson. I'm going to show you the chord shapes that I would use to play this song. And then I'm also going to break down this really cool groove that I do with the strum hand. But before we dive into it, I want to hook you up with a gift right away. I put together this awesome fretboard cheat sheet that's going to show you the five must-know chords and scales to rule the neck. So if you're someone who feels frustrated just playing in one position and wants to figure out how to connect things all over the guitar neck, you're going to want to download this free fretboard guide. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below. And it's just a one page PDF that you can print out, keep on your music stand or keep on your desktop. And it's going to be a super handy resource for just filling in your knowledge of the guitar neck. So check that out as my gift to you. Again, just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below. All right, well, with that said, let's break down this song. Let's break down how to play Isn't She Lovely is recorded by Stevie Wonder on guitar. Now we've got two main sections here. I'm gonna show you the chord shapes and then this really cool kind of groove I do with the strum hand. Let me play you the first part and then I'll break it down. One, two, three, four. So I'm using four chords here, and I'll break those down first. The first one is C sharp minor seven. And this starts on the low E string, ninth fret. Then I'm muting the fifth string, and then I'm playing nine, 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 and then muting the high E string. So I got a little bar there, and I'll either do this with this fingering usually, second finger, and then ring finger doing that bar. Or sometimes I'll use my thumb like this. This is like a Jimi Hendrix style. Now you could use either one. It's the same chord, just different ways of fingering it. So C sharp minor seven. Then from there, you just bring this down and then add your middle finger. So we're gonna play from the fifth string down, play nine, eight, nine, nine. And this is an F sharp nine chord, dominant ninth chord. So C sharp minor seven, F nine. Now the next chord, I use what's called a slash chord. Sometimes you'll see this written as like B seven sus four, but I'll play an A triad with a B in the bass. So I'm using my thumb here to play the seventh fret of the low E. Then I'm muting the fifth string and then playing seven, six, five. So those are those three notes there. There's your A triad, and then there's the B bass note. Now, if the thumb is uncomfortable, you can play it like that without the thumb. But either way, works. So A over B, and then the last chord was an E bar chord here. And this is just a standard bar chord with a root on the fifth string. Playing the seventh fret, then nine, nine, nine. Muting low E and high E. So one, two, three, four, a one, two, Four, one, two, three, four, one, two. One bar per chord. Okay, that goes twice. Now, sometimes when I play this live, I'll just play that progression as like an intro. Um, but then it goes two times once the melody starts. So da 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 then when the melody goes then we go to the bridge okay 
Okay, so this is the B section here, and this is got some different chords. We're going to start on an A major 7. So remember, we were on the E, we come out of that, we go to A major 7. Now, I do it with my thumb. So I make this shape that looks like an A minor chord just up here at, at the fifth position. So I'm playing 6, 6, 5, and then I put my thumb on the root note of the fifth fret there, low E. But you can do this that's easier. Then from there, I go to a G sharp 7 sharp 5. So I've got my thumb on the low E, muting the 5th string, then 4, 5, 5. G sharp 7 sharp 5. Then we go up to C sharp minor 7, then F9, just like the first two chords in the song. Again, all these chords so far are still one bar per chord. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, now if I'm doing it like this, no thumb, then I would go like that for the G sharp, seven sharp, five. And then probably here and here. Sometimes when I use a lot of thumb, I just keep using it, you know? So these could be played as thumb chords like this or as just your standard kind of jazz position chords. Then we finish, we've got four bars. We go to an A over B, which is that same chord, for two bars, three, four, a one, two, three, four, E. Then we do this little run, and what it is, is it's an E major pentatonic scale. but it's starting on the note B. So it's starting here on the seventh fret of the low E. I'm playing seven, nine, seven, nine on the fifth string, then six, nine, six, nine. And then we go nine, nine, just ends with one, two. So one, and two, and so one, and two, and a three, and a four, and a one, and two. And song kind of has a shuffle like triplet groove. Ba -ba -ba. Ba, 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 one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and two and okay so one two three four one two and a three and a four and a one and two ba, da, da, da. okay then we're back to the top so let me go through it one time completely just playing whole notes and then we'll talk about adding more rhythm to it so here we go one two three four one two three four A major seven. Da, 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 ba, da, de, da. C sharp minor seven. F nine. A over B for two bars. Two, three, four. E then to E. Riff. Okay, that's the whole thing. Now with the strum hand, I'll a lot of times start this off. I, I've got my pick here, but I'll stash it in between my fingers, like this. And then I'll play this. And this is just a really cool groove. It's one and two and a three and four and a, it's playing two eighth notes and then that triplet kind of chicka 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 you know, um, percussively with my fingers. So I'm playing the C sharp minor, one and, and what I did was pinch. So I'm using thumb, index, middle, ring. I'm using four fingers here, but I'm playing with the pick between my fingers. So it takes a little bit of time to get used to, but I'm playing one and then just the claw. So all four fingers, then all the fingers, these three without the thumb. And then Okay, now what I did there was two and uh, it's just a little percussive effect. So I drop my hand on the strings to kind of get that back beat, two, and then on the and of two, you know, on this triplet, two and uh, ba -ba 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 two and uh. So I go two, drop the hand, then and is just 
pulling on the strings, but I'm not pressing down. So I release the pressure of the chord. And then ah uh, is just my thumb playing just that muted sound. So one and two and uh, two, two and uh, that's it, two and uh. Okay, so I do that in between the chords. So one and two and a three and four and a one and two and a three. And I just take it through the progression. And then sometimes, see, sometimes I just like let off the strings. And that's kind of a cool sound, right? Just open strings. And then I go, I actually switch over to the pick. Um, you could do it with your fingers. And then sometimes I'll do this on the last time. I'll throw like an octave on the end. So that's nine and then 12 on the first string. Congrats on making it through this classic Stevie Wonder tune. Be sure to take your time with those chord shapes. Again, as I mentioned at the front of this video, these are definitely some more advanced shapes. Playing chords like minor sevenths and dominant ninths and even dominant seven sharp five chords and stuff like that. It's a little bit, it's a few steps beyond just, you know, C, G, D, chords like that, but they have an amazing sound. So rewind the video, go over any parts that are unclear, and then try and put it together and play along with the recording. And to help you even more, be sure to download my fretboard guide at the first link down below. And this is gonna show you the five must know chords and scales to play in any style, anywhere on the neck. All completely for free, just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below. Also leave a comment down below and let me know your number one song that you would like to see me teach here next on the channel. Thanks for your support with the videos and we'll see you in another one real soon.